relation, I don't want to use up the <laughs> okay. Re relational. Um, transformational or transformative. Um, faithful. It's not surprising that the last 65 years have seen steady year-over-year -year decline in membership. The institution of the church, and you know, it's one of these dynamics. Uh, you've got to have organization to function together. We are in a moment of paradigmatic change, to use an old term. There's a 500-year cycle for the, the institution of the church. The last 500 years has been about, uh, you know, enlightenment, about thinking and theology and the development of all these denominations. We're in a moment of change when that is no longer sufficient. And so it's understandable and there's some new form emerging, something more collaborative, less hierarchical, less about the theology or the mind, and more about recovering the mysticism and the embodiment beyond our thinking. That's great news, but it's uncomfortable for institutions because you know, institutions function to sustain themselves. I call it the autoimmune response. When something new and different comes up, it, it kind of attacks it <laughs> to try and expel it from the body. <laughs> Luckily, we've got a story about new life coming through giving up life, <laughs> through death. That death is a transformation and the opportunity for new life. So the institution is in demise. It's breaking apart like the chrysalis to give life to something new. Edge's privilege has been to bear witness to the new thing that's emerging. That transition is complex. Coming to grips with that gap between the fear of losing what we have and the joy of celebrating this new thing has driven us to a deeper spiritual practice. All these new leaders doing creative, amazing new things that we never anticipated. Social enterprise as a primary form of church was not something we expected. You know, it's the new Abbey. That tension is normal institutionally. It's expected. It's not easy. See, this is a time that requires creativity and change. We know that as a human species, we cannot carry on the way we are. We will not rest, we will not accept, we will find a way to a new space. And so bringing together faith, jazz, and community, I see people's lives change. I see the musicians' lives changed. I see the church's life revitalized, and I see the impact in in community when, you know, literally Pete plays the saxophone, but it is helping the whole community breathe together, conspire for a new world, for a new reality, for a way out of where we are. <laughs>